So today we've got Brandon out here with this Audi A4. We're gonna use the Insta 360 1R and some really cool accessories to get some crazy shots. So a 360 camera like this one works by having two lenses that each record over 180 degrees so that when you hit the record button, it records everything everywhere. The advantage is that after the fact in editing, you can choose what angle you want to use. And that means you can get multiple camera angles with one placement. So today we're going to use three different accessories to try to get the coolest shots we can of Brandon's car. Here we go. So this is a suction cup mount from PGY Tech. I really like suction cup mounts. I've used a couple different ones before, but they were a lot bigger and more cumbersome to deal with. Whereas this guy is nice and tiny and that's exciting. One of the first things I'm noticing right away is that it has an articulating arm built in. So once I attach it to Brandon's car, I'm gonna be able to sort of change the angle of it without having to get any extra pieces. I'm excited to try it out, but I would be lying if I said I'm not a little bit nervous. These cameras are pretty expensive. So when you attach one to the outside of a car, I mean, you're always gonna run the risk of breaking it. I guess that's why we're here to try it out. So here's setup number one. It seems like it's pretty rigid. It moves a little bit here, but the actual thing is not coming off the window. So that's encouraging. <laughs> Let's see what kind of shots we can get. Suction cup mount on the outside of the car at minus 15 is doing surprisingly well. I haven't had it fall off the car at all, which is of course great, but even when I'm adjusting the angles, I'm actually having to pull pretty hard to get it off, which is awesome. So if you can't tell by now, I'm freezing cold. I'm gonna hand the camera off to Brandon and he's gonna do some interior shots with the camera. Let's cut to that. Don't forget to subscribe. So we finished up our shots with the suction cup mount and I have to say, I'm very impressed. Again, it's so cool today that I'm surprised it's working as well as it is, but so far, no issues whatsoever. I was nervous because of how small it is when I first opened it up, but it is performing wonderfully. Interior of the car, you can get some really cool angles. Exterior of the car, same thing. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Next up on the list, selfie sticks so selfie sticks are actually really cool when we're talking about 360 cameras instead of say like a regular action cam because of the way the 360 cameras work in between the two lenses is a blind spot and that means that if you hold your camera all the way out on a stick the stick becomes invisible and this works at a short length like this or if you attach two sticks together and that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna have brandon go park his car further down the road i'm gonna get back out in the cold and use these selfie sticks and see what we can do here we go So that was two of our three accessories. We actually have one more to chat about. Unfortunately, we have to say bye to Brandon before then. So Brandon, where can people find you? Uh, my Instagram handle would probably be right here. Right, right there? Yeah, right here. So as my thank you to Brandon for filming today, you guys are gonna all go check out his Instagram at the link in the bio or typing in that handle. Thanks dude, appreciate your help. And uh, we have one more thing to talk about. So this is the third accessory we're gonna talk about today. It's a dash cam mount from Ulanzi. We pull off our sticky thing here and we are gonna put it right in the center, just like that. So the reason why this dash cam mount is so cool is that it has a quick release plate in the bottom of it. So you can just take your camera and snap it in for easy mounting. And then of course to take it down, we have a little switch on the side, we pull it and the camera pops right off. So you might be thinking a dash cam mount, who wants to use a 360 camera as a dash cam? The answer is me and let me show you why. I gotta take my jacket off though, it's getting pretty hot. So let's go for a little drive here and we'll talk about why this is so cool. 
By the way, I chose the worst road I could have possibly found. It's so bumpy and the audio quality is gonna be terrible. I apologize in advance. So with a traditional dash cam setup, you mount your camera and it looks at everything in front of the car. Now with a traditional vlogging setup, even like this one right here with my big camera, you have to try to fumble with the camera, put it on top of here, sometimes it falls down. You hope that you're getting everybody in the frame and it's not the most efficient setup. Now with a 360 camera, we don't have to worry about that because the front lens records everything in front of the car. The back lens records everything inside of the car and then in editing, we can choose where we want people to look. So you never miss anything. And this is the advantage of having a 360 camera mounted as a dash cam. So I think if you're someone who's trying to start a car vlog or maybe you want to record your road trip, look at this. Perfect example, literally perfect example. There's a guy coming over a hill, probably paying attention to his phone in my lane. I'm honking at him. You can see me doing it as I'm talking as the guy almost hits me. I could not have planned that any better. I've never been more excited to have almost been in the head-on collision. That was perfect. Wow. So I have to give a huge shout out to Insta360 for sending me all of these accessories. If you're looking to buy anything I talked about in this video, there are affiliate links in the description where I get a small kickback if you buy using those links. And that is it for this video. Don't forget to leave it a fat like, drop a comment if you want to chat, and subscribe to see more of these videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.